I'll be covering no-code tools as well as popular developer tools you can choose for your own AI projects. The tools I chose were based off of these requirements. They have to have some kind of popularity because you don't want to use something that you won't even find employees to, to take on that job afterwards. And also because having a support from the community while building is pretty nice. It needs to have modern integration. These integrations allow you to create a lot right off the bat without having to do it from the very beginning all on your own, especially when it's related to AI. And finally, it needs to be cheap because you're just testing. As much as you think your idea is perfect, you still need to wait for users to actually use that and get your feedback on what you can improve. Now, while choosing between tools, you have two extremes. So on one end, it's easy, but limited. And on the other hand, it's difficult, but customizable. So the more no code it gets, the more it's towards the easy and limited scope. The more code it is, the more difficult and customizable. But for both ends, prices start almost the same. In most cases, the no code tools are even cheaper than actually coding, though this eventually changes a lot as you get more users. But honestly, don't worry about this. Most SaaS don't even get past this part. And when they do, well, they have a problem, but they probably have money now to help solve it. The older a technology gets, the more we need to be innovative and reach for a more customizable approach for developing the projects. So please comment below, where in the spectrum do you think we are right now with AI development? N8N is a no-code platform on which you can build entire automations and entire workflows just by sliding some nodes around. You really don't need to know code, but if you do, this is also great because you can create your own custom nodes. So it's basically infinite the possibilities on automation that you can create with this single tool. Then you'll absolutely want to open the range of possibilities by integrating it with WhatsApp. There's, there's a bunch of tools. I'll show you guys in a bit a tool that is completely created for WhatsApp. And it's getting more and more frequent to have these AI agents integrated to WhatsApp simply because it's a platform that people are already used to. They don't need to download your specific application. They might already have a bunch that they don't even use. So just having that with them and being assistant for them, like for diet or for working out, seems to be a pretty nice approach. And you can do this with a no-code platform. Just integrate this with your NAN and you're all set with WhatsApp integration. The next one up is Google APIs. So integrations with Gmail, integrations with Google Calendar, Google Sheets, all this just expands the possibilities of whatever you, you need to create to automate and to create things you can sell to other companies. Finally, if you still are searching for a more no-code approach, or even if you're a developer and you want to just get this out and build it faster, use ConvertKit, which is now just kit.com. You're able to build not only the landing page, but also allow people to sign up to your newsletter and handle this all inside of ConvertKit. So it's just a really cool tool for anyone starting a business. And even for who's not even starting, who, who already has established business, I've seen some companies with up to a thousand employees and still using ConvertKit. So I wanted to show you guys an example of what you can create completely no code. This website right here, I don't, I'm not really sure they created this all no code. We can check this right here. So yeah, for the, for the landing page, at least they use the page builder which is Framer, it's also an option. And they do just what I said earlier, which is integrate a assistant with WhatsApp and then help people handle their diet through this assistant. Now, developer-wise, this can get controversial simply because there are preferences and some people might have tried out Next.js and found it to be kind of annoying. Uh, but this is like my preference and this is what I've seen that other websites use too. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys like the main websites that use this technology, use this stack. So feel free to give your suggestions in the comment section and to also point out some technology that I'm mentioning here that you don't agree that should be in this stack. So first up is Next.js. Like this is, this allows you to create a full stack web application. You will be working with mainly front end, but there's also the server side. There's a huge community and it'll be pretty easy for you to find a bunch of tutorials out there as well as integration with a bunch of AI tools. Now for integrations with your database, I would recommend using Prisma. It's really like beginner friendly, I would say. It, so just really rough example would be creating the table. Instead of actually typing in create table, you just Place the schema here in the schema.prisma and then it'll be generated. Of course, you have to type in the command for it to be generated, but you got the idea. It just makes the developer experience for developing new tools way much faster. Eventually using Drizzle or just pure SQL can enhance speed and optimize for scalability. The third tool is Versal AI SDK. This is my like favorite tool. It's an integration you can make from your Next.js project that allows you to create chatbots like this. So this, this chatbot right here, uh, if I ask like, what's the status of the flight B, A142 flying tomorrow, 
you notice that the UI was created inside of the conversation. And so if I, if I type in something like book, I want to book a flight from Brazil to USA. And then it might just get me the available options from Brazil to USA. Uh, I suppose that if I pick this, so yeah, it, it gives me the options to choose from like, where do I want to sit? Let's say I want this one. I clicked it pretty fast maybe bugged it passenger name leo i think i think these are like dummy data but you guys got the point this is really really interesting and you can create a lot with this and next up is langchain i couldn't talk about creating any ai web projects without mentioning langchain they just make it a lot easier for us to integrate with OpenAI or claude or any llm you'll see a huge list of integrations here these integrations just allow you to build way faster and the community is just fantastic they also build integrations of their own. So if you get inside the community, you'll see a whole lot more of tools that are specifically created from the community to use nearly everything possible in the internet. You'll probably need authentication. So you can either choose from next auth or clerk. Clerk is just a much faster approach, not only for integrating the authentication system, but also for you to have a dashboard in which you will understand like which users are doing what and, and creating that by yourself can take some hours or some days. But with Clerk, you can have up to 10,000 monthly active users. So that's really a lot. And you'll, your product might be validated enough for you to start implementing a personalized authentication system till that point. Then my second best tool here has to be Shad CN UI. This just makes you build so much faster. Like the front end, they handle everything in the front end because of these components. All you have to do is just integrate it with your Next.js project. Then as soon as you run this command, it will be installed as a component inside of your code. And you can just use that component normally. I believe this code right here is using it. So yeah, avatar, then the avatar image, you place the image, uh, give the avatar fallback. Like creating this on your own is easy, but can take a bit of time. And since you get the components inside of your code, you can change their components. It's not like you're downloading some type of link that if they change, then your entire website changes. Finally, there is Tailwind. And I wasn't sure if I was going to show this because I feel like it's kind of obvious. But a lot of people still try different approaches. I, I respect that. Honestly, after you learn tail Tailwind, you'll never want to design anything with pure CSS again, despite sometimes you having to do that because Tailwind doesn't have absolutely everything. And since I did mention Tailwind, I have to mention TypeScript instead of pure JavaScript for your Next.js application. A great example of a website that uses Next.js is Claude.ai. And also if you're starting to implement now and you have to choose between an LLM, so you're, you're between choosing Claude or ChatGPT or even Gemini, go for Claude. It's the best one for, for coding. Like if you're asking it to build something using Shad and UI, it will understand that. We'll create the code and then soon enough, let, let me see if it imported correctly. Yeah, it did. Not only that, but when it gets to the end of the code, you can actually test it and preview it inside. So yeah, for me, this is the absolute best chatbot for helping you code anything. OpenAI is also another website that uses Next.js. So Next.js up here, Tailwind. Another one I believe to use is Zapier. I think this is their landing page. So down here, the static site generator is Next.js, but please don't be misled by me because the actual ChatGPT, for example, isn't built with Next.js. It was in the beginning, but now I admit that it's much better. Uh, they, they've made some really great improvements on it. And one of these improvements involved just removing Next.js, but you see that in the beginning they used it and that wasn't a problem. They grew a lot by using it. So to start your own projects, this would be completely fine. I'm building my own AI SaaS using these exact tools. Subscribe if you want to see each step of the process as I'll be showing my entire hustle of creating it from the very beginning to production. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if this helped you in any way and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.